guys, welcome back to another video. I decided I should do my top favorite Netflix TV series. Why not share with you my favorites? Let's just, let's get into it. So the first one on my list is Made, and this stars Margaret, Margaret Qualley, I think I'm saying her name correctly, and she plays a young mother, Alex, who is in an abusive relationship, and she's trying to flee that bad relationship and provide for her child and make a better life for herself and her child and she becomes a maid um, and cleans houses and it is phenomenal. I cried, I laughed, I was completely invested in this series. Highly recommend this one. So the next one is Squid Game. This is a fictional South Korean series in which contestants compete in multiple schoolyard games. If you lose, you can get killed. And only one contestant wins the game and walks away with a few billion dollars. And I highly recommend watching this one in Korean with English subtitles only because it takes away the acting of the Korean actors if you watch it in English. It just, it's kind of hard to get into, but after about 30 minutes, you're hooked. And this one's top three for me. So the next is Ratchet. Sarah Paulson plays the character of Mildred Ratchet, who is a young nurse, and she starts working at a mental institution. Throughout the series, you watch her become jaded and bitter, and you begin to notice that she has this dark, monstrous side, and she is just a phenomenal actress in general, and so this one, it's just so amazing to watch her be an actress, and so I highly recommend, recommend this one because of her acting, and it's just eerie and creepy and will have you on the edge of your seat. Stranger Things. This series starts out with a young boy named Will Byers, who disappears. The small town of Hawkins starts to uncover a mystery involving secret experiments and supernatural forces and a strange little girl, Eleven. It is amazing. They just recently released a new season and it's just, you fall so in love with the characters. It's pretty popular right now. I'm pretty sure, you know, you've heard of it. And if you haven't, you should totally check it out because it's extremely, it is so worth your time. The Queen's Gambit. This one is one of my favorites because one of my favorite actresses is Anya and she plays Beth Harmon, who is on the quest to become the best chess player in the world. This series is set during the Cold War, and I kid you not, you will be hooked. I am not even into chess. I think chess is extremely boring, but it talks about like her addiction, the things she struggles with, and just what it's like kind of to be a woman in that field and competing with men, and it's just phenomenal. Next up is Inventing Anna. Inventing Anna is about Anna Delvey, and it's based on a true story. She won the hearts of New York's most richest men and women. I am a sucker for shows that are based on true events, and this one was amazing to watch only because after you finish it, you can like go look up the real character or the real people and watch like interviews with Anna and she's just a mess. I have this problem where I like, I kind of love her, but I also hate her and she just is an interesting person. This series really covered that really well and made you really feel like you knew Anna. The Haunting of Bly Manor. Danny is a young governess who shows up to the Bly Manor and starts nannying these two young children. She begins to see apparitions at the Bly Manor and the hauntings and ghosts and it's very eerie and she starts recognizing all of these things and she's determined to get to the bottom of it and piece things together as to why she's seeing these things and what's going on in the house and on the property. That series is really good I think to watch around Halloween time so put that one in your back pocket for October. The end of the fucking world. This one is so funny. I watched it a while ago. I really want to rewatch it. The two characters in it are James and Alyssa and they are set out on this quest to find Alyssa's estranged father and James is convinced he's a psychopath and Alyssa is just struggling with like finding out who she is and acceptance and she just feels like an outcast. <laughs> this series is a roller coaster of emotions. One second you're sitting on the edge of your couch like screaming and crying and then the next you're wondering what the heck did I just watch and witness? This one's a good one. Okay, this one is my number one. I love Black Mirror. It is so amazing. I am a sucker for dystopian type of 
series, so this one's right up your alley if you're into that kind of stuff. Each episode covers something different, so it's kind of similar to like American Horror Story where like each episode is something different. The story is tap into the suspenseful, satirical tales of the modern world. It makes you think about technology and society and how it can transform our behavior. And there's also like three movies of it, so if you don't want to start a season, you can just watch the movies. And one has Miley Cyrus in it. Okay, this one is eerie and scary, and this is another one that's good for around Halloween time, is Midnight Mass. It takes place on an isolated island where like the community congregates at this church and the priest performs miracles. And it's truly an eerie and amazing show that like I never want to watch again. Amazing and worth your time, but you're gonna be so freaked out at the end that you're not gonna want to watch it again. It made me feel weird. There's like this scene in the church that is traumatizing, but in the best way. In the dark. This one is about a blind woman who is on the quest of finding out what happened to the murder of her best friend. I ended up binge watching this series only because it left you on so many cliffhangers at the end of each episode. And this one is definitely top five for me. It's kind of like intense and thriller and cr true crime. And it just covers all the emotions, which is like my favorite type of series. I like to feel all the emotions because I'm a four. This one definitely gives that to you. <laughs> Alright, this is another one that you've been living under a rock if you haven't seen it. It's you. It is about Joe, who is a bookstore manager, and he falls in love with this inspiring writer that comes into his store, and he becomes extremely obsessive. It's very sinister, and I would not be surprised if you canceled all your plans and just watched it all the way through. The Sinner. I recently just rewatched this probably like a month ago because it's one of those that you can watch three times and not get sick of it. One of the main characters, Detective Harry, is investigating a chilling new homicide each episode. Uh, not each episode, each season. And it has one of those endings where you do not want to blink. It is so creepy. I guess you could, this is another one that's good for October, so I'm giving you guys all the good ones for Halloween. Don't fuck with cats. Oh god, this one was amazing, and it was one of those that I watched super quick through. <laughs> it's about a group of online cat lovers who try to track down this guy who posted a video murdering a cat. They are a phenomenal group and it's amazing what social media and like technology is capable of nowadays and we're literally able to crack cases and track people down. Not even FBI agents, literally just a mom who is scrolling on Facebook at home. Like she's able to crack it down and figure out what's going on and find that person and capture them. So this one is, <laughs> is so good. It's sad, I will say. It's very sad if you, you know, have like triggers to animal abuse or murders, maybe not for you. Keep sweet and pray and obey. Yeah, that's what it's called. I'm gonna actually read what it's called because I always like butcher how it is worded. It shows the rise of Warren Jeffs in the fundamentalist Church of Jesus of Latter-day Saints and how he manipulates and controls families, especially women. He is disgusting and a terrible man and it just kind of explains how religion like leaders can be so manipulative and just ruin people's lives and he sure enough did that and it discusses what a terrible man he is and how he deserves to burn in hell. Alright, and then this one is The Staircase. This is about a man who is suspected of pushing his wife down a staircase and it's one of those that you kind of have to speculate what you think actually happened and what is going on because from what I remember is they don't they like the case was kind of cold like they weren't able to figure out if he did or he didn't but I think they actually released an update to the public of what actually happened and so this is a good time to watch it because now you have a verdict and you'll be able to look it up and figure out what actually happened. The Social Dilemma. This documentary shows the dangerous impact of social networking. It's extremely chilling to watch mostly because technology plays such a huge part in our society and it'll make you honestly want to throw your phone away. All right, I recently watched this one as well, The Tinder Swindler. This is about a group of women who get like manipulated and used by a man on a dating app and he literally steals their money and 
just uses them. His intentions are just so malicious and wrong and he's just draining these women's bank accounts and it's really depressing to watch these women just like talk about what he did to them and it's very disheartening honestly but it's worth the watch only because it's one of those that you also learn what to not do on the internet and that you literally shouldn't trust anyone. The most hated man on the internet. I hate Hunter Moore. In 2010, Hunter created this site called um, Is Anyone Up? It was an app where literally anyone could upload a nude that somebody sent them onto this app and very terrible because these women were just, their bodies were all over this platform and Hunter Moore wouldn't take it down whenever they were like, I didn't tell this person it was okay and he kind of laughed in their faces and is just an extreme asshole. I'm not going to ruin this, the ending just because I want you to watch it, but this one is ridiculous and Hunter Moore is the worst. And he is, in fact, the most hated man on the internet. Alright, this is my 20th one and it is Love on the Spectrum. It introduces seven young adults who are on the spectrum of autism and they are on the quest to find love like everyone else is in the world. It is adorable and you honestly like fall in love with the people in it. Like it's just so beautiful. It really opens up your eyes as to they're human just like us and they're trying to find love just like us and they have their struggles just like us and it's just so cute and I love all of them and I actually like after I finished it I went and looked up like where they all were now and if they were all still together and it's just so cute. Anyways those were my top 20 Netflix series that I seriously think you guys should watch. You will not regret any of those and it is completely worth your time. Anyways I hope if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye!